Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's been quite some time since I did a grow update. We're back here again October 12th, about 6.30 at night, Southern California Medical Cannabis Grow. Uh, this is my indoor veg tent. This is a 4x2 tent. There are currently 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 vegetating plants in here. Some are duplicated strains, like two of the white, two of the black diamond OG number ones, and overall I have about five black diamond OGs, three different phenotypes. Okay, um, otherwise, let's jump right into it. In the back, can't really get back there. This is Master Bubba Kush. Phenomenal. This is the plant right here. I'm just going to hop right here and show y'all. Master Bubba Kush does this. Scroll on over. Ba Bam. Hold on a second. Get this focused in on it. There, that's Master Bubba Kush. So, that's what that one does. Since I already have that one ready, I'll just show y'all. And then let's see what else we got covered up by Master Bubba Kush. Let's click on the autofocus. Let it autofocus for me. I'm tired of pushing the damn screen. Back here we got the white. It's kind of buried up. I'm going to have to move things around. Tonight's cloning night. It's black. It was, oh, this is my deadhead OG. Yeah, I love this one. It's my private seed string. Um, back here, my big tall one, up in the light. Got to cut her down for clones today. Is Girl Scout cookies. That's the cookies. This is the platinum cut of the Girl Scout cookies from Dark Heart Nurseries, everybody. And then we'll move to right here. Uh, DNA Genetics LA Confidential from Seed. I just watered her, so she's a little heavy in the leaf. Um, in front right here, my stretchy. Fuck, look at that. Five inches between nodes on this one. This is Black Diamond OG number three. It's the third phenotype, the stretchy phenotype. All right. Um, up front here, I have two Black Diamond OG number ones. This was the short... Well, the short stretcher of the three phenotypes. Um, since the original mother is now in flower, I have two uh, new mothers. I'll decide which one to keep and which one to toss. Um, next to it, I got Romulan Cotton Candy. It's kind of a rare strain, not really common. Back here, I have Holy Grail Kush from Seed. Uh, let me pull her up. There she is. Very, very broad leaves, heavy indica pattern very tight node structure towards the bottom and I gotta clean it up um, we do have some damage you can see on the leaves this is from a previous thrip infestation I got caught up with some thrips and a little fucking flying bastards took over my garden for a few weeks so I've been treating that trying to take care of them and get rid of them because I hate bugs at least it's not spider mites so we're lucky there um, back here this is also DNA genetics kosher kush um, kept her. She's finally back to her five leaf pattern. She's been, uh, you can see she was kind of stressed, put off a lot of three finger blades for a long time. So she's finally back with the five and I'm happy. Stress is gone. Let her grow a little longer before I cut her up. Back there, Pure OG. I'm discontinuing it. It's a fantastic strain. Stretches a little bit. The yield is kind of small. It's just very finicky in flower. It, it, it requires almost no nutrients and just constant attention so got to kick that one to the curb and then over here uh, black diamond og number two this one has the the big fan leaves compared to all three let me show y'all i mean they're kind of large and in charge big fan leaves um this one's happy as shit it's reaching up for the sky doesn't get much happier than that um same with that kosher <laughs> Anyway, that's the veg tent. Let me back on out and move things around and we'll hop in the flower room. Any questions right now, go ahead and write them up. You got a second. Put it on pause. Write a comment. And we're back. At about 420 here in the video. <laughs> All right, let me hop on in. It's kind of hard. I got a few things falling in here. Some things aren't. All right, let me hop on and show everybody the Master Bubba Kush. This is a phenomenal strain. Anybody who got a clone from it, congratulations. She's a beast. Amazing, amazing strain. This one's got nice size colas too. 
pretty decent for a for just a, you know plan shit. Woo wee! Fuck yeah, it looks beautiful. I wish you can see it in real light. I'll take a dark video in the next one. Matter of fact, you probably won't see this master bubba as I'm about to harvest her tomorrow. Okay, let me move over here. This happy bitch is my grapefruit kush. I've been working with this one since 2010. Um, I know what she loves. I know what she likes. I pretty much have mastered this plant. It's just, you know, I've smoked it so much, I'm just kind of tired of it. I really am honestly tired of it, and so I'm letting my buddy continue uh, continue on with it while I discontinue it. Um, you can see the tight node structure it has all throughout the, the center of the stalk. Bud profile on this one is, what is this? What is this? I don't know, day 28? It's about a month in. And there's nothing like it. I've never smelled a plant like it. It straight smells like a pink grapefruit. Um, right out of your produce section. Alright, right up front here I got the white. Um, OG Rascals version through Dark Heart Nursery. There she is. I love this plant. I just keep it going. I love it. It's a great smoke. 50-50 indica sativa. Um, but it hits you like an indica. I like it. Over here we have... This is the phenotype number one black diamond OG. Um, it's a pretty decent looking plant to be honest with you. It's got a nice structure. Pretty thick. Not very, uh, not very dense. Uh, I'm sorry. Not very stretchy. Pretty dense. And the buds are just starting... You know, not much to them, no frost yet, because they're just beginning. So, we'll keep, keep an eye on that one. Over here we have RKS from Reserva Pravada, Really Killer Skunk. She's happy as shit. Look at that. Very happy plant. Um, it does a pretty large yield. Um, it's not the skunk that they describe as the roadkill skunk. It has more of a sweet smell. It's more of a sweet skunk. Sweet piney smell. All right, so I'm just uh, putting that out there for everybody to, you know, look out for your phenotypes. Find that roadkill smell and go with it and keep it. Don't lose it, because this one's not it. Anyway, let's rotate. Over here to my, this is Deadhead OG, otherwise known as my number one OG from Cali Connection Origins from the original seeds of a mix pack I got back in 2012. Everybody's seen this one in various forms. Uh, this is probably the third time I've grown it. This plant, unfortunately, I I cloned it heavily. There it is. She's so fucking nummy, nummy, num nums. I cloned it very heavily, so this time it has like 50 tops, and they're all very small. But the smell is just out of this world. Fuck, I love this plant. I'm never losing that one. That's one of my faves. All right, and over here, Romulan cotton candy, just starting flowering. Um, I put her in here one week ago. This is her seventh day. Um, pistols are shooting out now. The sides, shit, let me get a focus on that. Not that y'all care, but I do. There we go. Female pistols showing, so she's just about to start her flower. Let me back on up. I'll rotate there and uh, take a look at the garden from over where I'm standing boom and the big bitch about to come down there she is that's my master Bubba good old Bubba actually to be honest with everybody it smells just like pre-98 Bubba Kush from a Cali Connection it could be a pre-98, I don't know. That's what you get when you get just clones from a collective. You don't know if it's a real deal, but I'll tell you what, it smells, fuck, it smells, I don't know, like a chocolate hashy kush, definitely like a Cali pre-98. Anyway, everybody, I'm fucking done. It's been 10 minutes, I'm sorry. I apologize, but shit, enjoy the grow. Peace, rate, comment, subscribe, and grow your own, peep. Peace.